and welcome to today's vlog as i mentioned on instagram i have been sick i'm still not great so we figured let's do a little house q a tour where we walk around this big new house and talk about things and then i'm gonna try to be quick and edit and get it online on time with me we have yanni who is gonna ask me all your questions so yanni hit it off and we'll get right to business hello everyone okay First question. More history of the house. When was it built? Square meter? Architect? Etc. So the house was built in 2002. It uh, It's kind of funny actually. The Our house and Richard's house was built with the same architect. There was two families from Holland that moved down and they built two houses and, uh, and then both sold and we have one and Richard has one. Uh, house is 800 square meters and yeah, I think that's about it. Architect, we don't know. I don't know the architect. No. And who is the owner? Is it 50-50 with Yanni or do you own the whole place? Me and Yanni have been discussing this because we have seen, unfortunately, so many comments like, oh, it's uh, Yoon's house. And yeah, the fact that people <laughs> assume that Yanni couldn't own 50% of it or that if she did, she got the money from Richard. No, that's not the case. In 2018, it is possible for everyone to make the same amount of money. Even women. So that is something we wanted to highlight. But yes, we own everything here 50-50. So when I go, Palm tree shopping, it's a 50% discount because Yanni has to pay for half of it. Fun sometimes, fun not sometimes. <laughs> but it turned out great, so it's worth it. It is worth it. Okay, how long was the whole building process? So we started renovating a little painting and stuff, but that I wouldn't really count that. But from the day we stood down there with Robert deciding what to do, it was roughly is it three and a half months ago? I think three, four months. Say four months from the day we started. And having done all this, you, you can kind of tell that Robert is very good. And we do not get paid to promote Robert. We pay normal price, but he is just that good that I want to help spread the word. How much did you spend on renovation as a percentage of the purchase price of the house? So I don't really like to talk about money, how much things cost and all this, um, but as Compared to what we bought the house for, we completed the renovation with furniture at roughly 30% of the purchase price for the house. What was the biggest challenge when you were building the house? The hardest thing with the whole thing is that once you start doing something, that is connected to the next thing and the next and the next. So if you do something, you kind of have to do quite a bit. So finding the limit where to stop was the hardest thing. And the hardest thing for me was picking the pool tiles. Yeah, that was probably one of the hardest <laughs> things as well. Are you going to sell it if someone offers the right price? No. I've seen so many comments like, oh, I'm sure they'll be sold in a month. No. <laughs> That's cars. Cars are a different thing. A house is completely different. I even asked Yanni, I'm like, if you got four million today, would you sell it? She's like, no. I'm like, five. No. So I don't think we're selling this anytime soon. No. I mean, 20 million. Yeah, we might think of it. Maybe. <laughs> Is this where you will live full time now? Uh, so we did this renovation and it kind of turned out a little better than we, we expected. But our plan is to keep living in Monaco because when we travel as much as we do, it is kind of nice to just lock the door to an apartment and go. Whereas a house is, it's constantly something that needs to be fixed or things like this. But this is better than expected. So who knows in the future? We'll see. We'll see. Okay, should we continue to the uh, garage? Yes, let's move spaces. Do you want to change the driveway for low cars? This is terrible for any kind of car that's not a golf car or a G4x4. So yes, we didn't do anything here. We could have kind of touched it up, but we wanted to do it properly. But that is something that we are going to do after the summer once we have regained energy from this renovation. But we're going to redo all of this. Yes. Is the big brown wall gonna stay brown or won't Yanni allow that? I will not allow that. <laughs> <laughs> it was never a good idea and I will never say it was. Uh, it's, I still think it could have had potential. Do you agree with me now? Uh, well, I don't think this white would have been that great either. It needs to just be fixed, the whole thing. Okay. But yeah, it's probably gonna get changed. Yes. Are you also going to change the garage? Um, yeah, should we walk over to the garage? Yeah, sorry for the mess over there. Yeah, let me open. Uh, yeah, we still have a little bit of stuff going on there. Let me open that. So as part of like this renovation, yes, there will be some work here. Um, probably not too much, mo probably mostly like paint, uh, maybe like a, 
a workbench or it's gonna be nice in here basically yes. so yes we are gonna change at least we made it a bit nicer than before yeah now we can actually have something in there look we even have our red bull station i made this i, bu I built this shelf it's really nice nice no it's not very nice <laughs> but it's better than nothing and we have a fridge and our new bikes yeah That's really cool. nice yeah. from stolhesten thank you thank you and then now there's a question show people where i sleep Ah, from Hans the G. Ah. Here, Hans the G. I sleeps. thought it was Benny who commented. <laughs> uh -huh, no, it was Hans. Okay. So he sleeps here. here. So he can now fit in the garage. Yes. So, yeah, a lot of things that all this is going to be real nice. We need to match the rest of the house uh, here as well. Okay. Let's continue to the next station. Where is the opening fence which allows you to jump safely into the pool? So many people said, where is the opening? The problem is if you have an opening here, that's going to be much lower than jumping from here. True. So that's why you don't need an opening. What we could have is a little platform here, which we're probably going to do. We haven't done yet, but now with the wood, it's at least grippier than the metal. So yeah, that's why there's an opening because we don't want to jump from low things. So you're going to do a stepping thing. Yeah, a platform here with some grip tape so you can... I'm not paying 50% of that. And then I, I saw another <laughs> question I didn't write down. Will we see doubles from here? I kind of think you can do a double from here, but first we need this little platform. Okay, next station. Next station. And we're in the kitchen. We are in the kitchen. What's your favorite part in the kitchen? That's a hard one. I, I, I want to say that my favorite part is the openness, the layout, and how you just like to hang out and live here. What would you say? My favorite part is probably this kitchen island. Yeah, the island's really nice. And I mean, I think my favorite is how it looks. The, the color, it, it's like a dark oh, gray yeah. with a tone of blue in it. I got questions if it was black, but it's not. It's no. like dark blue. Yeah, no, it's like dark gray with a, a tone of blue in it, which oh, I think so is really nice. But yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, combined with the gold is really nice. And then I want to show another thing I've customized. See on, on these, you see the aluminum on the side? Yeah, Here. The silver. We see silver. It. Here, it's black because car wrapping units and have customized the sides. Well, it's hard to film black. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's black. These are going to be transformed as well so that you don't have silver and gold. Very important. Yes. What material did you choose for the top of the kitchen? Real marble or Decton? So, Yanni was so set on having marble because it looks beautiful. But it's not the most practical, but the Dectron uh, countertop is pretty much unscratchable, unstainable, and it's supposed to be great. And I am one clowns, uh, and I am one clumsy dude, so it seems to be really good. We've even, even tested it with tikka masala, and it's still, still nice. And we picked a warmer tone. We picked a warmer tone. Very, the, the, we spent the most amount of time picking this and picking the uh, pool towels. Okay. What material did you choose? No, sorry. What happened to the drawers that were supposed to be next to the new window in the kitchen? Ah, uh -huh. so if some people remember from the beginning, our sketch had two uh, top to bottom uh, kitchen drawer things here. Yeah. But then we realized that it was nicer to have this island center to the window. So we kind of last minute redesigned the kitchen. And <laughs> I think it turned out great, but there was a little bit of a headache going on, but Perfection needed to happen. It turned out great. Okay, should we take the next question here, even though it's not about the kitchen? All right, what is it? Let's see Air what condition. it is. Um, no, we can take it over there. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Here we go. I would love to know if you have air conditioning throughout Casa Castle. Yes, we do have air conditioning in the whole place. As you can see up there, it's like a central air condition in the ceiling which is really nice. In the old house, we just had a couple places and then the pipe came in through the wall. So here it's like everywhere and it's really good. It's nice. It's really nice. Are you hanging something in the center of the staircase? Should we move this way? Yes. As you know, we have a 50 meter ceiling to fountain staircase. And yes, there is a buster and punch chandelier from the ceiling coming with 30 light bulbs all the way to the bottom. Yes. It's coming. It's going to be fantastic, but it's not here yet. It's coming. 
What change do you think has made the biggest impact on the look and feel of the house? I'd say we spin and I show you. I would totally lie if I didn't say that this pool and the terrace has made the biggest difference in this house. I agree. Which color are the pool tiles? So, I don't know if you can see. They are like a dark turquoise, like greenish, bluish like turquoise. the old green pool that much or decided to go for green again? No, the old pool had yellow tiles, so it made it look like puke green. This has dark green tiles that make it look awesome. But it's, yeah. like, it's like dark green, blue, turquoise-ish. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Me too, it, it looks more tropical. Yeah, it's it's just, it kind of looks like the Bali pools. It doesn't have, have the natural tiles, which Bali uses a lot, but natural tiles, they need deep water in order to look turquoise. So if we would have had uh, natural tiles here, they would have looked like stone. Yes. So that's why I picked this color. Salt or chlorine pool? Salt pool, of course. It is just much nicer. And Yanni says that you get green hair if you swim in chlorine pools if you have blonde hair. She refuses to swim in chlorine pools. We do salt water. Yeah, it's so much nicer. Better for your skin too. <laughs> Show us more of the garden. Okay. I, I have to show you this, I'm sad. My stormproof umbrella stands did not put up with the storm, so they came over, so we have new stands coming. And I'm so sad that it's not- We should just drill holes in the ground. Yeah, but then we need to first figure out exactly where we want them. Yeah. So yeah, here is the garden. And as you can see, we handpicked these Kentia palm trees. Here we go. Very important, me and Riley, we were out here just kind of like perfecting it. We have a little bit of areca down there, kind of covering up the view towards the neighbor. Here we have one garden with white stones. Yeah, lots of light, a few more lights coming in at night. And then we have the green garden. Yeah, we have um, areca, we have stralisia, and then we have the, the special stralisia kind. I don't know if you know the ones in, in like Bali, the one that comes up like a trunk and then... Like a feather. Sun feather. They're hard to, to like make them grow here in Spain, but I think this is a good spot, so I have uh, good faith in it. And I think generally it turned out really good. And then, yeah, we're really fixing the garden up there. But a lot of Kentias. That's why Yanni's uh, plant bill was higher than expected. From what brand is the sound system in the garden? Okay, so we have the rock. We have one rock, a base back there, speaker. And then let's see here if we can find a brand on these. Sonans. Sonans. Solans. Yeah. <laughs> They're fantastic. Super, super good. I'm gonna see if we find a link or uh, if we find uh, whatever they're called, we'll put it in the description. What are the plans of making another pool below the one you have? We have this whole like hillside. It's part of our lot. So, I mean, I had this idea. If you build a pool way down there, hold on, we can walk over here. I'll show you. Me and Yanni, we're not really on the same page of this, but I can let you know kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not paying 50% of that either. <laughs> <laughs> so, the idea here is to make a big wooden deck in the middle with kind of like a full outside kitchen and seating area and all this. And then I was thinking you could build a pool way down there and have like a 10 meter jumping platform off the dining area. So uh, yeah, there's no shortage of ideas and plans. Which room will be the baby's room? Yeah. We don't have a baby. Hold on, c come here. No, we don't have a baby yet. We might in the future. So currently this is Benny's room and that's our room and that is the, the bathrooms. So we were thinking if you have some stuff up here, you build the ladder and then you can kind of connect these into one like mega master bedroom and that way you can kind of yeah we don't really have a plan but that's the only plan we have at the moment okay should we go inside back we can did you get most of the decoration furniture for free as for cooperation cooperations or did you actually pay something i read a, uh, like i read a lot of things that we didn't pay for a single thing in this house and that you know it was all just to make money in this room, the only thing that we got for free is the YouTube button. Is there anything else? No. I'd say that we, uh, furniture-wise, bought everything except for the uh, couches uh, that I designed and then the uh, couple extra sun beds. So the outside furniture from Bauhaus was free. All this other stuff was the things that we bought. So I wanted to clear that up so we're not just 
yeah, selling everything. We, we have this stuff because we like it. Otherwise, we wouldn't have it. Yeah, that was it about furnitures. <sighs> Why will you redesign bathrooms? Yeah, so we didn't really do oh, echo super <laughs> echo. We decided to do nothing with the bathrooms because we had enough things going on. So we're going to probably redo this right after the summer because um, we can't have an echo like this if we're going to vlog. So yeah, the plan is to redo it after the summer. I love your gym. Have you guys used it a lot? Yanni just came from a running session on the super running gym. Yeah, that and was intense. As, as you see, we now have the mirrors. Yay! So we're making small progress all the time and we have, we have a bunch more things coming in and uh, being installed and of course, tomorrow they're installing this uh, rail light, by the oh, way. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, lots of things happening and we haven't used it uh, much yet, except for Yanni, but we I used it today for the first time. I was walking. Yeah, I was a little too sick to actually be gym gymming. Yes. But I can't we wait. We will. So. Yeah, we will. And then we have a theater room question. Yeah. Is the theater room equipped with Dolby Atmos? Whatever that is. Um, I'm guessing it's like a sound question. I'm trying to check here what... Hello brand, what brand are you? Well, something R, no? I'm sure sound experts can say what it's. I thought it's how it looks. But we don't know the brand. <laughs> but it's different. Uh, you know what we should do? We should actually have a proper run through of this thing with uh, the guys from Domosat so they can actually explain everything about it. Okay. But it is the best investment we've ever made. It is. We have been in here every night that we've been here. You even slept yesterday here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got the fat boys now. Yeah. Whoa. Echo in here. Too. We have Echo. We have. Uh, panels going up on the wall. Yes. To remove the echo. But yeah, the fat boys. Yeah, but weren't you? I think the next question is about the couch. Yeah. So they are kind of all combined. Okay. What I think brand does the sofa and the cinema room come from? The sofa here uh, was from Sukohol. And we love this because it's deep. Yes. And it is not a fortune either, which is a really good thing with sofas because they can be so damn expensive. Yes. And this deep one is just incredible. And then today we added the fat boys. We have a fair. We have a <laughs> So, uh, it's funny, we got the fat boys sent to Rich's place and then he kind of wanted to steal them, so it was not until today that I picked them up. But up at Richard's place. If you have a sore neck and back like me, this is really good. So when Philip and, and Richard and Isaac and everyone comes over, now we have a couple extra spots. Okay. Really like this. I think we need a few more. It's pretty dark in here, so let's continue. Okay. So, what's up next with the house? What's up next is that we're gonna try to just, yeah, get Enjoy feet on, <laughs> on these uh, umbrellas. Just make the little things that still isn't done. Uh, and then we're gonna enjoy it for the summer and just swim. Yes, please. And then I have so many ideas, but I'm trying to just like stomp on them and like forget them and not think about them. I'm gonna stop you. Yeah, we just want to relax and enjoy, and mostly relax for a bit. Why don't you let Benny do a vlog? Every time I'm sick or too busy or something, I always see a million comments, just let Benny do a vlog. The thing is, the amount of hour that guy edits, he probably needs a break more than I do. So if we have a break, he probably needs it just as much as I do. So that is why Benny usually doesn't do a vlog if I'm too busy. So I'm happy that he is now resting and getting his super magic. Um, creativity yeah. back. Creativity back. So I wanted to just explain that because that seems to be very hard to explain. Yes. Yeah. And that was all the questions about the house. Yeah. And now we could have done like a million more, but it's since it is probably well, it's 6.30 and I got to have this in line yeah. in an hour and a half. I got to be quick to edit. And I hope this was all right for a, having been sick, but hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. And if the weather cooperates, we might take the boat out again, which would be really nice. Nice. So let's pray for health and weather. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed uh, um, kind of a secondary house tour with more details. Yes. Okay. Okay. Should we so watch we'll a movie now? No. No, I gotta edit first, edit. then we can watch a movie. Okay. Over and out from Casa Castle. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Pool tiles. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs>